Here we have a 2017 Tacoma, and uh, we're gonna uh, install the the fog light replacement. This is the Winjet fog light, and uh, it's gonna replace the OEM fog light. The the process will be the same for the third gen Tacoma. From the Winjet box, you have the bezel, it's the same as the uh, OEM one. Uh, I'll open this up so you can see the, the tabs, how to pull out uh, the bezel without damaging it. Uh, so you can see the bezel has, is um, held on by those tabs, and uh, those tabs are pretty easy to pulled out as you can see it's, it's very soft all we need to do is grab this this part and uh, feel the resistance and just gently pull back as you can see uh, when it gets to this position the last tab you don't want to break it it just pops right out or you can use this tool to just pry it pry it open like this pry it when it comes out you'll see um, if your car doesn't come with the uh, fog lights from the, the factory this will be the, the solid plastic cover it's the same way to remove it just uh, pry it open and now this is the OEM fog lights it's uh, help uh, there's just one screw that's uh, holding this fog lights and uh, we need to remove this screw from the back from the back so when you come around to the back here th this screw actually you don't need to remove but this this part you need to pry it open so you have access you turn on the lights so you have access to the back of the bolt the the fog lights and here's the back of the the OEM fog lights to remove this fog lights you just uh, remove this one single screw and uh, this comes right out and you can actually fish this uh, fog light through this hole come around you'll see you can actually fish this hole just like this When we unplug the OEM fog lights, you can put it to the side. If your car comes with the OEM fog lights or it comes with this harness, the windjet lights is plug and play. It plugs right in. And uh, all you need to do is just fish it in and use another hand, grab it from the back. Like this and uh, take a look right here you'll see the two ears right here and right here they go into these two slots they go in and uh, the other side you put a one screw the same screw where my finger is the same screw right here put this screw in to secure this fog lights and uh, if your car doesn't come with the, the OEM harness, all you need to do is to use the Winja one and I'll show you how to rewire the, the, the harness later. And for now, we're, I'm just gonna put the screw back in. So here's the screw and uh, Right now, I have uh, secured the screw. You see where my finger is? 
this is a screw hole you, you need to put the screw from the back that's a single one screw that's holding this fog lights and there are the two uh, prongs you can see that's inserted where it inserts into this uh, bracket right here and uh, now let's do the wiring before before we uh, put the wiring into the truck we can try put this bezel back in to finish this we need to put this cover back in just like a uh, the way you put it out you just need to line up all the clips just like this it's in Here I'm gonna explain how to plug in this uh, harness and if you go, go down here you'll see the plug follow this plug of course this, this will go behind this uh, headlights it, you basically just fish it down there with the, your hand but uh, for demonstration purpose it's easier to see this plug into your fog lights and uh, if you follow this this line you'll see this harness goes across this uh, truck and go down to this harness and this harness will plug into the fog lights right here and here we have the big chunk harness this black wire, this long wire, this long wire will go into a chassis ground or um, the negative terminal of the battery, this, this wire. And uh, if you keep going with the harness, you'll, you'll see the relay right here. The relay that, after the relay, there's a single red wire. This will go into the, the positive terminal. Of the battery so we have a ground and we have the positive now let's keep going with this this wire because uh, if you follow this wire it has a yellow end this wire is uh, meant to be connected with uh, the switch the fog light switch where you want to go through this firewall see this is the 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 this is a brake booster and uh, you want to go through the cylinder I mean you, you want to go through the firewall and uh, connect to the to the switch how do we connect to the switch here I'm going to show you the, the yellow wire it might be really short here we have an extension red wire just plug in and uh, this will extend into the, the cabin through the firewall and uh, when you go through the firewall and we connect this extension cable with another yellow connector that's for the switch wiring right here is the switch wiring and this switch wiring the green part just plug into the switch right here is the switch and uh, this this two wires this black and the red this one will go into a ground any ground 
the chassis ground will be better and this single skinny red wire will go into a accessory power source that means that power source needs to be turned off when the vehicle is off so you don't so the switch uh, there's the LED lights on the switch the LED switch will not be always on for that you need to connect this single skinny wire to an accessory power source if you connect this one to a constant power source that means your LED switch the green light on the switch will be always on so it will just work fine if you connect this to a constant power but it's just not annoying that you always have the green lights on the switch even when your truck's off so that's the only thing you need to be careful so this wire is a accessory power source yep this uh this uh switch will just plug in into the cabin right here that's the oem location for the switch you can just pop this uh, dummy panel out and uh, from the back insert this switch and connect this switch to the wiring harness